Hey guys, it's your girl Miss T. You know that's me, and this is your NXT recap for June 4th, 2024. Be sure to like this video because we're trying to get this video to 200 likes, and also subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the recaps and so much more. And let's jump into this one. First things first, Jordan Grace versus Stevie Turner. That is how we opened up the show for NXT. The match was everything you can ask for. This woman is super talented and it shows and Jordan Grace and Stevie Turner had a great match to open up the show and I gotta say I was a fan. Now you know the outcome of this one was predictable as Jordan Grace picked up the win against Stevie but you know what I'm excited to see what Stevie has to offer in NXT. I like her character she's not bad in the ring this was a solid match and I gotta say the future is looking bright. During the match though Roxanne Perez was seen on commentary and at the end of the match she approached Jordan Grace. I cannot freaking wait for their match this Sunday at NXT Battleground. You're not gonna want to miss this PLE. It's gonna be great. This is gonna be an awesome matchup. Both of these women in the ring is gonna be crazy. So many people think that Roxanne Perez will retain. I would be shocked if Jordan Grace beat her because I have Roxanne Perez maybe losing at Heat Wave to Julia. But with now the forbidden door open, you really don't know what to expect, especially out of NXT. Let me know who you would want Roxanne Perez to drop the title to? Would it be your girl Jordan Grace, Julia, or somebody else on the NXT roster? Let me know down in the comments who you think is the best choice for her to lose the title to. Me personally, I wouldn't mind either choice. Someone from NXT, Julia, or Jordan Grace. All great choices. The future is looking immaculate on NXT, and it starts off in that women's division. Here's a young girl to definitely keep your eye out on. It's Jasmine Nix. She picked up her first win against Thea Hale. Gotta say the match was exciting, but this girl right here, she has that it factor to her. No, seriously, she totally has the it factor. Jasmine Nix came out with a brand new attire. I love the pink on her. She looks incredible. She has that it factor and attitude that I think could really make her a big name in the future. We've seen her before with JC Jane, but now she's been, you know, taking on some matches and feuds on her own and I'm so here for it. So I'm happy to see my girl Izzy Dame making an appearance on this episode of NXT. She was scheduled in a match against Natalia, and this girl is fantastic in and out of that ring. You can continue to see her develop. And despite being separated from Kiana James due to the draft, she is still doing her thing and I love to see that. Natalia was seen coming in with Carmen and I hate to say it, but Carmen is currently injured. I'm hearing she got hurt at a live event. I was pretty surprised to see this and it totally sucks because Carmen had great momentum after the feud with Lola Vice and Shayna Baszler. This totally sucks, but I'm wishing her a speedy recovery and I can't wait for her to come back. So Natalia picked up the win against Izzy Dame. Now as an Izzy Dame fan, I'm really not the biggest fan of this, but I do think that it leads to something bigger for Natalia. Now there have been so many rumors is Natalia going to re-sign with WWE and if she does, will she make an appearance at TNA? I'm not sure, but I do think it's inevitable down the line we might get Jordan Grace versus Natalia. That's always been rumored. Now, Natalia has also been seen saying that it is time for a change, which is a reference to Owen Hart. So some fans speculate, will that forbidden door be open for AEW in addition to TNA and some other promotions? Now, I don't see it right now or anytime soon, but let me know, do you want to see WWE work with AEW? Do you think it's possible? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I don't know though, but my girl Izzy Dame losing. I'm really hoping this doesn't become a trend because Izzy Dame is a rising star and losing to a veteran like Natalia is not going to really hurt her, but I don't want them to make a trend out of this. Okay, so we totally need to talk about the NXT Summit involving the ladies that are going to be in the ladder match for the Women's NXT North American Championship. This was 
such an amazing segment, but the woman we need to talk about that totally torched this segment was my girl, Jada Parker. Jada Parker is a bona fide star in the making and it freaking shows. She totally torched up Mia Yim, AKA Meechin, on the mic and my goodness, it made the internet go crazy. This girl right here has the it factor and the attitude. I've been trying to tell you guys, my girl Jada Parker is going to the top and she's going up pretty damn fast. But overall, all the ladies shined in this segment and it set it up for a main event on this episode of NXT, a 3v3 tag match. But man, oh man, that only got us rallied up for Sunday. This match is going to be chef's kiss so all you really need to know that during the main event team Sol Ruka ended up picking the win because Meechin and Jada Parker could not get along and Jada Parker is not gonna sit around and get bullied by Meechin let me tell you on Sunday those are two girls to look out for because I already know they are gonna have their spot and it's gonna be good interesting enough that we saw Jasmine Nix and JC Jane show up during the main event of NXT and they just came out and I don't know who they were eyeing but let me tell you this Sunday at NXT Battleground things could get pretty interesting because I smell sabotage these ladies are eyeing someone or something and I guess only time will truly tell what it is in other news we also saw a glimpse of a new Wendy Chu on this episode of NXT now it looks like Wendy Chu has tapped into her nightmare side of her sleep Leap because we normally see Wendy Chu as a sweetheart who's all about good sleep but now it looks like she's tapped into a nightmare and it looks scary okay Wendy Chu is coming back and it looks like she's coming out for some vengeance I don't know against who you know Wendy Chu is coming back from a major injury she has been seen on NXT level up but now it's time maybe for her to come back to regular NXT on Tuesday nights and she's coming looking like this so a superstar that has a lot of fans talking right now is Brooks Jensen. Now, if you don't remember Brooks Jensen, he used to be in a tag team and faction with Fallon Henley and Josh Briggs. Now, Brooks Jensen lately has been having an interesting character twist where he feels so underappreciated, feels unrecognized, and we saw him make a video and post it on X and on Instagram talking about how NXT can go screw themselves. He has been putting in all this work at the Performance Center and nobody is recognizing him for his greatness. And he even said this, this is what has everyone talking. He said he feels like he can make an impact somewhere. And that is what has fans speculating that Brooks Jensen might be one of the first superstars to cross over to the TNA side of things now that that forbidden door is open. Do you see Brooks Jensen maybe going to TNA, making an appearance there, causing a little havoc to prove himself that he's capable of doing that also in NXT? I gotta say, this is pretty exciting. I do think this guy has a lot of potential. I always liked him, especially when he was with Josh Briggs. I thought they were an excellent tag team. And with Fallon Henley in the mix, it was great. Now, Fallon Henley and Josh Briggs have been doing well by themselves. Now it's time for Brooks Jensen to shine. And if this is the character angle we are gonna take i gotta say i'm so here for this and i actually like it so here are some matches to expect at nxt battleground this sunday in las vegas we are gonna get jordan grace versus roxanne perez and you know roxanne's title is on the line we have a tag team match between the oc and axiom and nathan frazier Shayna baszler and lola vice are taking things to the nxt underground this is a match i'm totally looking forward to if you've been watching my recaps, you know I've been a fan of this feud. On the other side, we have that infamous ladder match for the Women's NXT North American Championship. I'm really hoping either Kalani Jordan, Jada Parker, or maybe even Lash Legend takes it. Let me know who you want to take that one in the comments below. 
We have that triple threat with Obafemi. Um, you know Gallus has been causing some trouble. So Joe Coffey, Wes Lee, this one is going to be insane. And you now know Ethan Page versus Trick Williams is rumored to be in that mix. I cannot freaking wait. This is going to be crazy. And the NXT Championship is also supposed to be on the line. We saw a contract signing during the episode of NXT. Ava was a little hesitant on this one, but Trick insisted. Ethan Page insisted and you can book it. Let me know what match you're looking forward to the most when it comes to NXT Battleground in Vegas this Sunday. It's going to be exciting. I'll also be dropping an NXT Battlegrounds predictions video here on YouTube and TikTok letting you guys know my predictions. But if you guys want to watch live with me, NXT Battleground or any of the weekly shows, head over to my Twitch channel where I watch the weekly shows with you guys. Smackdown, Raw, NXT, you name it, we do it over there check down in the description below the link will be there for you also be sure to like comment and subscribe we're trying to get this video to 200 likes and if you subscribe you can stay up to date with all the recaps the reviews the episodes and so much more and you already know until next time uh deuces